I just wanted to show you uh, the after effects of RAID 12. If you look on down the line here, you'll see uh, some tags, you know, like this one here. Uh, it's part of their tagging RAID, I guess you would say, but, you know, it's a two-part series when they do Bill 54. You've got one that tags and the other one where they actually confiscate. Now today, for instance, they already tagged once. Today they were out to confiscate and uh, tag again. So we did complete uh, RAID 12 and we've already started the beginnings for RAID 13. They uh, informed me, if you watched the previous Ustream, that they'll be out tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. It was unsuccessful. Two times of raids and it was unsuccessful. We've become professionals at their game. But, they're, you know, they're already planning new things. Like today I was awoken by a Wesley Chung uh, screaming, uh, Wake up! You're going to jail! Uh, whatever, dude. So I just came out with my uh, use stream and uh, said, Let's go! But, uh, yeah, nothing happened. He's full of talk. Anyhow, if we look at this sign here, a couple of Ustreams ago I pointed out in the park how we had like 20-some tents and, uh, well, they're canopies, but they had, a lot of them had more than uh, one wall, uh, which constitutes as a tent and, uh, by the city ordinance. If you have two walls screened or concealed, doesn't matter. If there's two walls, it's a tent. So we had like 20 of them out here for a dog show that was going on. Now, I'm all for the dog show. Me and Bo love to go play out here in this beautiful park that we have and play with all the dogs. There's a guy way out there with uh, what looks to be a Weimaraner just walking away. And, uh, you know, it's a beautiful park, but it's not designated as a dog park. Dogs are allowed to walk through here only because it's one of the few parks they have said no to dogs. But there is no fencing. Um, so they all have to be leashed at all times. They're not allowed to run free, but they do here. Uh, the whole city is kind of in uproar about not having dog parks here. But um, but when they have a show, they're allowed to have 20-some t uh, tents and have a person within the park after park hours. But here, if we have a permit, they'll come and take our stuff right away. If the lawful Hawaiian government has a permit to be here overnight, they'll tell them to remove their stuff and kick them out. So, like I was previously saying, if you're a Hawaiian that has a history and legal right to be in this park, since this is Hawaiian grounds that was left to trustee and care with a... Uh, uh, the state, and then the state said, uh, we're going to let the city of Honolulu deal with it all. Well, you know, that's out of the agreement with the Hawaiians and the state, but whatever, you know, they do whatever they want here. So now they kick out all the Hawaiians, they kick out anybody that protests, they kick out anybody that wants to bring any items within the park, they kick out the homeless, and, you know, they do all sorts of crazy stuff in this park. So, uh, but they decide, but if you are somebody with money, dogs, and whatever, you're allowed to be in this park with your tents and be on, on, on site and watch your stuff, but nobody else is legally able to. But then here when, like I mentioned, there was a sign that's up. It's still up after a few days. It's a plant sale. These trees was supposedly planted, from what we were told, these three trees was planted by an individual that... Uh, lost their life during 9-11 and uh, it was seen by the police and everybody that we are infringing on the law by having hammocks or a sign on these trees on any trees and it was a personal offense by having them on these trees specifically but as you see if you're having a plant sale because you're a corporation of some sort that deals with a lot of money pays for all sorts of permits, you can do whatever you want, just like the people with dogs that have money to spend a couple grand on their dogs, and then spend thousands beyond thousands to dress their dogs up and play in a little park to show them off, and exploit dogs, and ruin uh, uh, 
the breed itself within breeding and all sorts of other stuff you know all the stuff that goes with AKC you know I'm a supporter but at the same time it's you know it's kind of weird stuff that goes on there so I just wanted to bring out even though they came here to raid they didn't take the sign that's up there illegally and it's seen such as an insult to uh, people because it's on trees uh, with uh, personal value and importance for uh, the individual that was lost their life but then we'll run around and we'll uh, harass the houseless and protesters so anyhow it was uh, raid 12 was finished today we're on day 156 earlier I mentioned 155 I was off by a day sorry about that but uh, we're on day 156 and uh, raid 12 the last two raids uh, we've been able to go scot-free without them taking anything uh, they made us professionals so but they're gonna keep wasting their resources and time now we all know that uh, freedom of speech has been deemed by the uh, Supreme Court to be of signs anything that's needed to be able to uh, present your uh, protest or anything like that as in an info booth is legal and as you can see it's clearly marked inside with all these different actions and stuff going on and words we have flyers we have flyers that we're handing out and you know we got the May 1st deal going on and uh you know we got all sorts of stuff it big old sign on it so